Hey there, Julian McBain here, and we are back with We Happy Few. So, we have installed the automatic baby feeder. Not entirely sure how that works, but uh, we'll make it work. Okay, so before we get going here, we got to go visit Captain Who's Hootenanny there. I don't know what that's going to turn into. Let's take a look at the notes we've got. Um, guess who's gone off the rails? He wasn't always this crazy, was he? He was, no char he was charming and smart and smart, and he didn't care. I was a girl, not in the lab anyway. Sure, he was a bit cold, but I thought he's just a scientist. It was us against all the idiots who couldn't see. I guess I was keeping him sane or something. God knows I was fixing his calculations. I God, I hate men. I mean, I love men, but sometimes I hate them. Um, why did I do that? It was nice. Why didn't I ever do it before? Oh, this is about the kiss with Arthur. Um, because look at what happens. I fuck everything up. Think Sally, think. Funny thing. I was scrambling for a lie to tell him about the cod liver oil, and I wind up telling him something I wouldn't ever tell anybody else ever. How it is, how is it, how it is that I don't see him for 14 years, and a minute later I'm telling my deepest, darkest secrets, except for the one big thing. I didn't tell him about Gwyn. He's still so mad. If he brings me the cod liver oil, then maybe I can trust him about about everything else. Can I? I wish only the person, I wish the only person I know who can give me a letter of transit wasn't the bloody general. That won't be fun. Won't that be fun? Um, such a kind offer. The kind, dear, sweet old general would like nothing better than to take care of me while the world burns. I am sure he wouldn't want anything in return. He wants to get Gwen out without me. I'm such a rubbish mum, she'd probably be better off, and wouldn't she? If I were uh, really a good mum, I'd make the sacrifice. I can't give up Gwyn. I'm sorry, I just can't. Oh, God, I remember the babies after the war. Um, before everyone got on joy and we stopped having them. They upset everyone so. Um, I always wonder where they went after. No one talked about it. Usually the mums went with. Sometimes the baby was just suddenly gone. Sometimes they found the baby and the mum later. Uh, I don't want to play house with the general. I want to vomit. Wait, the boat. There's a boat. He has a boat. I could steal it, fix it up first, then steal it. Now I can go see Arthur again and give him the letter of transit, and he'll have the cod liver oil, and we can take the boat off this cursed archipelago. Um, okay, so we've got 12 points. It's not quite enough for double-double. I think I'm going to save up for that. Although the backstabber, we've been dealing with a lot of plaguey, so I think I'm just going to pick that up. It's not what I had originally planned, but I think it'll come in handy because we can't knock them out, which is really frustrating. Grr, arg. Maybe we'll get lucky here. Oh, no, because we Arthur went up the back step, if I remember correctly. So now we have to go find Captain Strawbeard. Did I just glitch through that? Jesus, you'd think that EA was, or uh, Bethesda was the one who created this game. Although EA could have too, with the clipping. Sorry, I shouldn't say that. Compulsion actually made a really good game. They really did. I shouldn't pick on them like that. Okay, so we're going to plot a course to the other end of the fucking map and go. You know what? We have buff food. It's the last one. Do we have anything else that gives stamina? Oh, Jesus, food poisoning. That's a big negative. Okay. A little bit of extra stamina goes a long bloody way. Be nice if I could find some more yams. Which is funny, because in real life, I detest yams. Sweet potatoes, yams. I don't mind the occasional sweet potato fry. Especially if it's mixed with white fries. There was a... There was an Irish pub in Bismarck, North Dakota, where I used to live. That sold a pound of fries. That was the name of the dish. It was a side dish. And it was literally half a pound of regular potato fry, waffle fries... And half a pound of sweet potato waffle fries mixed on a plate. 
put some fixings on top. And uh, I think they had like a, a, a signature sauce of some sort to go with it. That was really tasty. And then they took that and they added like uh, green onions and jalapenos and cheese and shit like that to make Irish nachos. And, and I mean, just delicious. Okay. On the bright side, it's mid-afternoon, so we don't have to worry about plagues right away. Change of clothes. And back in the guard district to go we. Strange how I don't remember, did we end up having to go into the psychedelic houses for Sally? I think we did. Cut cross country. But for the grace of God, go we. Okay. Rose of Gilead. Because there is never a time we won't stop for Rose of Gilead. Speaking of which, we should probably check our ability to craft medicated balm. Which is exactly one. We have quite a bit of healing balm, so I'm not going to just go into crafting that yet. But if it looks like we're going to be running into a lot of combat, then I will. I'd prefer not to use... Rose of Gilead, except when we have Rowan Berries. For obvious reasons. Are we going to run afoul of the cliff here if we just go direct? A little bit. We actually need to go back this way a little bit. There should be... You know what? We're going to put a marker there. There we go. That's the one thing. Navigating this can be a little tricky from time to time. I do have to say that the garden still looks very pretty. Despite all, you know, the problems the garden district brings with it. Like starvation and poverty, although you'd think that with all of the uh, the currents they'd at least be able to feed themselves. I mean, we were picking them up hand over fist when we were Arthur. I mean, as Sally, they're much more, much less common, but there are other plants that seem to be taking their place uh, in Sally's storyline, so I don't know which is the quote-unquote authentic version of the Garden District. Hello! All kinds of Rose of Gilead. Now, if only we could find all kinds of Rowanberry. No such luck. I love how you get the true first person perspective. It's not that big a deal. We do have the boost to our um, medical stuffs. Where are we in relation? Okay, good. We're getting close. It's almost 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And I'm getting really worried about having to deal with more bleeding plagues. I couldn't imagine having to deal with that as much as we have as Sally. Currents, or currents. 
There was the O current, and these are blue currents. I need to get that straight. That's the hill. This isn't the Yam What I Am hill, is it? Well, at least it's not where the Weird Sisters are and the storm's brewing and all the other stuff. It's going to be very embarrassing when I read it out of the air. It is. Dear Uncle Jack. It's Yam Hill. They've taken him. Poor, poor Eddie. Who's taken Eddie? The cultists. Up on the hill. The Yam people. It's not yams they worship. They... It's too horrible. You have to stop them. They're going to kill him. I wish I could do it. I'm too scared. Oh, God. I just... My legs have got all watery. I'm a coward, Miss Boyle. A coward. I'll do my best. Don't go anywhere. Save him, Miss Boyle. Please. Okay. So once no, Arthur took the yam. Cook up my heart and eat it. Oh, I think dear. we should all eat it. Just cut it up into to Oh, now I'm wishing we had. No, finished. please, no, don't kill me. They're all in histoplasma. They're gonna cut his heart out. I don't think I want to fight all these vegetable worshippers. I wonder if there's a way I could drug them. Oh, look. They're drinking out of a chalice. Hear the words of the o old no, one. Please. Okay, so I can... Can I, can I do knockout juice without a frickin' chem station? No. Requires a chemical station. We have all the stuff, but it requires a chemical station. No, Whose names are kill secret me. and um. may not be said. Whispered in the shadow of the new moon. When I wear oh, wait. my cloak of shadow, ye shall assemble in some me. secret Save place me, and adore me. <laughs> I will teach you things that are unknown. I am who I am. Hey! Well, we got one of them. That could have gone better. I don't want to back myself off the cliff. You're beaming. You're all beaming. Fire! No, no, please! No! Don't Knock kill me! Knock down. You can't just call it a victory. Your a victory is when you win! Ouch. Save me! Save me! Okay, okay, okay. Hang on. This might have been a big mistake. Please! Oh, one down. No, they're gonna pick up my heart and eat it. They're never coming back. Sleep. We've Sleep. come to the end of our time. We've come to. Uh. I need my heart, please. Mom, uh. please. You're all beef meat. Two down. Almost there. No, please. No, Combat goes so much me. faster with the cleaver. Got him. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They promised me sweets if I came along with them. But there weren't any. And they tied me up. You mustn't trust strangers, Eddie. 
I know. But I can trust you, can't I? You're good. And Arthur, he's good too. Percy always said so. Yeah. Arthur's bloody brilliant. Look, you wait here. I'll send someone to get you home. And this is how... Nope, can't use the axe, not worth it. Nothing. Kind of a shame that we weren't able to just, you know, use the knockout juice. That would have been far more subtle. But I didn't want to run away and craft it all and have to come all the way back. I was just like, screw it, we'll fight him. We did manage to use the pituitary gland stealer to fix it, though. You saved him. I wish I had. I love that lad. He's one of the best people I know. Yeah. He'll need you to carry him home. Listen, Captain, I need to fix up a Bristol pilot. The, uh, a general's. Oh, that's a beauty. I love that boat. Clean lines, beautiful woodwork. I was just reading about it. Could I... Could I borrow your book? Oh, sure. Here we go. Least I can do. After I didn't save any, keep it. You'll need it more than I do. <laughs> Tell you the truth, I haven't been in a boat in 15 years. Say, you wouldn't happen to have a sovereign for a thirsty pirate, would you? I feel smarter about boats already. When is Arthur getting that cod liver oil? The auto feeder Maybe is he's got it. Maybe he's already sent a note on the blower. I'm so close to our playground. Maybe I should just see if he's there. And see how things are going. After all, as we all know... Well, since we're already here. I love how it said that um, the auto feeder had fed our offspring and how modern. That's awesome. Let's make sure we're not going to run into anything stupid, like, you know, the lake. Okay, so we're going to have to go to the custom and then cut across to the playground. What's... Got ten points here. Let's do the hustler one. We're gonna, I'm sure we're going to have to buy the baby carrier off Lionel. But it looks like we're coming close to the end. At least of Sally's, and then we've got Ollie. Keep going. So, and you know, it makes me wonder, with Sally and Arthur having such very distinct, so very different gameplay styles, and they're so very distinct, it makes me wonder how Ollie's going to differ from the two of them. And I wonder, if I was to do a second playthrough, I also wonder how much of this extra running that I've had to do as Sally would maybe not end up being that way, because it's all procedurally generated. do we have to run? Oh, good. We're almost off of this half of the island. Music changed for like half a second, but nothing ended up happening. That was weird. Okay, so there's the waypoint. We can now turn on course. Just like flying a plane, except, you know, you're on foot. That's actually how you have to fly sometimes. Um... Back when I was a pilot, we were doing what's called VOR training, which means that you use radio beacons in order to navigate. And it puts a needle on the, um, the direction of where the beacon is. And depending on what you're trying to do, that's how you triangulate your position. Or you can also follow it until you're directly over the VOR, in which case the, the needle literally dies. 
because you know you're directly overhead and it doesn't have a direction to show you. So sometimes that's what it feels like navigating these waypoints. It's okay, waypoint A reached, turn on course to waypoint two, yada yada yada. Strange how everyone looks Where are the Americans? Where are the it's a much older form of navigation, unlike oh, sorry, um, unlike GPS. But also unlike GPS, it doesn't require a whole lot of equipment. Or I should say, it doesn't require a whole lot of sensitive equipment. Here we go. Hi. You're still in town. I got it. Your precious cod liver oil. Lifesaver. Have you got my letter of transit then? Arthur, we're practically the only two people in this entire city not stoned out of our minds on joy. You look... rough. What do you care? How are you going to get out? Why won't you just give me the fucking letter of transit? Oh, it's always what you want. Always what you need. Every little Sally whim. Bloody cod liver oil. Am I really that awful? Well, just because you seduced my dad in my mum's bed while you were staying in our house? How was I supposed to tell him no? I'd never anywhere else to go. Um, sorry. Here. Let's go together. My two musketeers. I'm scared, Arthur. Aren't you? <sighs> it's going crazy out there. We have to go now. Wait, wait. I have to go back to my place first. Why? And we sort of have to wait till dawn. Oh, God, no. There's something I have to tell you. No, that, that, that's crazy. I, I can't. Oh, you shouldn't have asked for that ridiculous cod liver oil. I've got a baby. <sighs> I don't remember it's her telling just self-preservation, Sally. No hard feelings. Arthur? Why did he just... Arthur? I don't remember her telling him he, he had to hear be... me. Of course he heard you. He just didn't care. But at least he brought the cod liver oil. At least that. That. No, I've got to get it to Gwen that. as fast as I can. Now we need to get out of the garden district. Night's going to fall soon. <laughs> That was rough. I didn't... I don't remember her telling him that she had a baby before. And it's entirely possible in Arthur's storyline she doesn't. I have noticed some subtle differences between the two, like where we meet Arthur, whereas on Arthur's storyline we met Sally in her apartment, but on Sally's storyline we meet him in the park, which makes a certain amount of sense. Um, but it does kind of give that incongruity how, you know, who's remembering things correctly? How much has the joy affected everyone's memory? So I think that's a really interesting dynamic that they, that they made it like Just that. like childbirth. You barely remember the misery. Yeah. Okay. Whoops. I 
I have to say, my only real major complaint for Sally, I mean, yeah, she's not as tough in combat, stuff like that. It's just there's there is a lot of running back and forth to opposite corners of the map. It didn't it did happen with Arthur, but not nearly as much as it has with Sally. And honestly, frankly speaking, there's more than a 50% chance that's 100% because of the procedural generation. I just got a bad roll on how the map was formed. So that's not necessarily Compulsion's fault. That's going to happen from time to time when using procedurally generated map systems. It's just like when playing like Minecraft. Sometimes you get a map that's just not overly conducive to getting from place to place. Oh. Okay, let's cure Gwen. Something tells me there's going to be someone here. Don't cry, baby. Mummy's got something wonderful for you. That actually is perfectly horrid. I know. But it will help you fight those nasty measles. And that is everything. We're gonna see the world, darling. We're gonna leave this awful place and go wherever we want. Just as soon as you're feeling better. All right. I know a thing or two about the General's boat. Now I just need a boat motor. I hope Dr. Faraday can make me one I can carry. Okay, so... Where is Dr. Faraday's... Well, first, let's just kind of, you know... Um... Well... We don't really need the crafted drugs. Maybe better distractions? Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. It's coming to the point where uh, we're just kind of running out of things to buy, which I'm not going to complain about. So where's Dr. Faraday's office? That's why we popped in here to begin with. Um, tell me it's not way down here. Okay, good. It's probably on the North Island. No. Oh. Oh! It's actually on this island. God, that makes life so much easier. Um, there we are. I wonder what series of tasks she's going to give us. After all, she sent Arthur after the Modeline with a vacuum. This probably makes us understand the rest of how she managed to blast wormhole her way out of here. It'd be hilarious if that's how we actually get out of here. We're hidden in Faraday's lab. Um, did I... Oh, it's right here. Jammed. Oh dear. Oh, shut it up. I hope she's not gone on holiday. Annie's pretty neat, isn't she? Oh, this again. It was months ago. I was only dancing. Well, she turned you someone's on. Someone's inside, obviously. I was only dancing. You wanted her. Don't get me wrong. I was only dancing. I was watching from the stairs. James, you Come are on. everyone. I know that you're ever in cared. there, James. Oh, sweet Roger, Jesus! It's Sally you Boyle. have a way with work. Oh, Sally! What are you doing here, Roger? Roger, it's Sally Boyle. Where's Doctor Faraday? Is she all right? I'm afraid she died. There was an explosion. For fuck's sake, James. It's Sally Boyle. She, she's not here. She, she died. James. She said she died in the explosion. Oh, fuck. She's right upstairs. <laughs> Roger! No, oh, that's hilarious. Oh, but look. These have already been wrecked. That's awesome. 
Which means, of course, we're not going to get trapped and killed and all that other wonderful stuff like we were as Arthur. Dr. Faraday? It's Sally Boyle. Dr. Faraday? James said you're alive. I suppose three can keep a secret if two of them are dead. No shit. You're hiding in your own house. I don't like people. They want things. It disturbs my thought processes. That's a shame. I rather like people. I used to have the most beautiful collection of records. Help me tune everyone out. But all my records blew up with my house. What brings you here? Who do you listen to? I'm sort of embarrassed to admit it, but the make believes. The early stuff, before Nick sold out. The unicorn song? That's my favorite. I had a rather brilliant formula in my head the last time I had it on. See, I've been trying to make a sort of portal. No matter. I lost the idea when I lost the record. I know where our copy is. I think I could get it for you. Really? I know if I heard that song, I'd remember my idea. That's how my brain works. Could you make me a motor for a Bristol pilot? Boat motor? But that sneeze is more complicated than a boat motor. Thought you were here for something difficult. Ah, sure. You bring me the unicorn song and I'll make you a boat motor. The unicorn song? That awful song. I bet the only person in Wellington Wells who hasn't burned their record is Nick himself. I can't believe how many times he made me listen to it. Okay, I don't care about that one, but we're gonna take... The gas mask and the expansion pack. Now we're gonna go to our inventory. Or at least we were on drugs. He'd never part with it. On the other hand, he's passed out half the time I come by. I'll just sneak in while he's sleeping. Where did I leave the key card he gave me? It's in that suitcase I brought to the Bobbies. Where the hell did I leave it there? Okay, so let's. Let's do a couple things here. First off, let's get to our inventory. And there's the expansion pocket. Holy crap. We can carry 170 pounds. Not bad for a girl of probably 90 pounds. Um, okay, let's look at our map here. I know, I keep flipping back and forth. Sorry, guys. So you've got the... There's Nick Lightbearers, and there is the police garage. And night's falling, so there's that. How does our health look right at the moment? We're good for sleep, hunger, and thirst. Now let's see if we can't get this taken care of. They've done a good job with the breadcrumbs for this. The only time we really ran into an issue was at Sally's house, if I remember correctly. Danny Boyle! What the hell? Eddie McMillan's looking for you. He uh, wouldn't tell me what it was, but he seemed pretty... Well, pretty distressed. Even for Eddie. Alright, thanks. Okay. Maybe I should get down to the pub and see what he's worried about. That's interesting. Now the question is, is that a side quest? Yeah. I don't have any sunshine. So we might go back and do that. But for now, I want to try getting into the police garage. Oh. Oh, look. They were kind enough to put some uh, scaffolding here. Now, the question is, who always pissed them off? Nope, they couldn't give a shit. But now no, I remember. Passed. They wanted to carry me around in that car like I was some sort of conquering hero. I just wanted to get down on the ground. Clean forgot there was anything in that goddamn suitcase. The question is, can I take him down? <laughs>
That pituitary extractor really helps. Okay, so the key card appears to be below us. That's the thing with two of these freaking markers on, it's a pain in the ass trying to sort out which one we're sh we should be following. But it looks like the spankers are all offline. If they're not, I'll just down some joy water. And here's Nick's key card. Why do they make dresses with pockets, for Christ's sakes? Hmm. I'm actually surprised. I expected this to be a little bit harder. Watch this. I probably spoke too soon. Of course, there might also be more than one way to deal with this, and I might just happen to have come across the easiest, but who knows. Or there might be something cool and optional down there. But we're not going to... Uh, deal with that for the moment. There we go. Now to get into Nick's house. Question is, is he going to be zonked out or are we going to have to zonk him out? Jesus, downer detector. Um, that's okay. Really? <laughs> so we have the key card. We're going to have to scaffold our way up here, aren't we? Of course we are. Let's see what we're dealing with. We need a starting point. Because we can't climb that way. Wait, better from Sparky. There we go. I don't know that we can make that, but... Oh, oh, bugger. Oh, no. Oh, did we? No. There's the metal shutters. Are you kidding me? Oh, that was easy. No. Salt Peter. Just like steal everything well, in his house. Funky as ever. I'm not surprised the may quit. See about thieving everything here. Oh, and there he is. Dead. Dead but snoring. Figure that shit out. Whoops. Okay, so we just have to find it. Nick's dead. Okay. It's probably down in his secret lair. How do we get down there? He had some sort of secret button, didn't he? That's wrecked. So Arthur's already been through here, obviously. Check next mirror. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Flash, joy, cash, rob the dead man blind.
Oh, those are just there for decoration, okay. Wait a tick. A second you were right right I was wrong that night night that's why you left right right left oh my god <gasps> okay So, more scotch, because that's worth a bunch of cash. So, obviously, there's a complex code, and Wild is in back backseat gaming here. Told me there's more guitars. So, I just gotta figure out. So that one's good. So right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left. Okay, no, so it's all right, right, left. So now we just gotta find the damn entrance. Now this is it. So that should have unlocked the damn thing. Unless, I'm so confused. Doesn't take much. So that did it. Do I have to come back here and... Oh! Okay. Okay, okay. You have got to be kidding. A bit paranoid, aren't we? What's he been taking? Okay, so, um, at that, we're gonna take a break. When we come back, we are going to probably get ourselves killed. Thank you for watching, thank you for listening. Please like, share, and subscribe down below. Make sure you visit my website, www.mcbainmanor.com, for access to my blog. I really appreciate all the support you've given, so please go ahead and support my sponsor as well, Critical Links. I will put the link down in the description. Guys, it's been amazing. Thank you all so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.